I just made a video showing you how to make a journal for this summer and I didn't even think about it until now, but it could be a math journal too. If you liked some of the games that have been posted on the website, you can make those game templates in here. You could do tic-tac-toe or other math problems. You could totally use it for that. I'm gonna show you a math activity that's just for fun um, and maybe you'll wanna try it out. So for this activity, you're gonna need to invent some kind of code. I'm gonna use a die, which gives me six different numbers and six different code doodles. They could be a doodle, they could be colors. You'll need paper and a pencil, a ruler will help. If you don't have a ruler, any kind of um, like a book, you know, you can use the edge of a book as a straight edge. You'll need some kind of wrap grid. or Some kind box. of grid. So I'm gonna make a box um, starting with a straight line. Um, you can make it as large or as small as you want to. It depends on how you want the game to go. Um, I can use this to help me create a straight a right edge. angle. Because I don't have any graph paper on hand. So I'm just gonna make a graph. If it's not perfect, um, you know, that's, that's fine. And then I'm going to mark half inch boxes um, on each side, because I want a lot of boxes. Okay, so I have my grid. Now, like I said, you could use some kind of code that is a pattern or you could use colors. Like I'm gonna start by doing the rainbow colors. Okay, so I have my code set up. Um, we're kind of coming full circle here because I'm using rainbow colors. Rainbows are still a sign of hope for us during this time. Um, so anyway, the way this game goes, once you have your grid, however many boxes, I have a bunch, what do I have, eight by, I think I made an eight by eight grid, so I have 64 rolls. So every time I roll the dice, I got a two. So you just start from left to right, top to bottom, unless you design your own plan um, because you're ultimately um, the person in charge here. And you just keep going. So I got a five, that's blue. What do you think will be the last roll? Did you notice how few um, red there were? Only six in the whole thing and only a little bit more blue than that. And some colors came up so much more often. Two. Orange, did you predict that? So there you have it. It's just like a little bit like math art um, for fun. Um, probability, make you think about math. I'm going to show the other version if you wanna make a different kind of code. And again, the kind of code you make is totally up to you. And I'll show you just so you have an idea of what that looks like. Have fun. As you can see, my lines aren't quite as neat and tidy in this one. I wasn't being really quite as exact, but that's just part of life. Um, so now you can see I'm gonna start rolling. That was fun. And I'm glad that three came up so often because um, it helped me get all those hearts because I love this project. You could color them in when you're done. Um, they could be art, they could just stay in your journal. Have fun.